So recently, Al Phil Reese on uh, the blog available at Jacket 2 Magazine either did or didn't respond to um, an anecdote that I had placed regarding the nature of mishearing, close reading, over reading, under reading, um, Contexts of um, identification and address in conceptual poetry and poetics, and uh, to some extent, uh, the policies of inclusion and and exclusion in various forms of address and in um, metaphorical figures of walking through a door or opening a gate or uh, being granted access or um, the type of address that the granting of access um, symbolizes in forms of reading as in you know hello or uh, what nominalizations individuals give one another who don't know one another when they first meet or greet Anyway, um, he may or may not have responded to that anecdote as a metaphor of ways of thinking about conceptual poetry as an open or closed system and its community as, you know, gate-guarded or unguarded um, with a kind of subtle very oblique reference to uh, a Navajo joke that involves this concept of pointing and uh, a metaphor of pointing with one's lips as opposed to pointing with one's fingers in an image that he put up of uh, BP Nickel. So I wanted to respond to his response, which may not have been a response to my comments, but may have been an accident, which also relates to the original problem of determining whether something is accident or intent and whether it's appropriate to intentionalize accident and interpret it, uh, or if that is in fact and overreading and irrelevant to the work of poetry and poetics. Uh, in any case, the suggestion, I think, and it's a very good one, has been made, you know, had been made there and elsewhere, that in any case, that uh, the ludic, the playful, is one of the aspects of poetry and whether intentionality matches intentionality or arbitrary is paired with meaning um, you know uh, Chomsky's famous complaint about the green things that don't make sense I can't remember what the line is there I have argued for years that nonsense is never singularly nonsensical and the the key feature behind that is that the play of language is meaning in itself. Uh, The play of the child is meaning in itself. When we over-institutionalize rules for that play, we end up with very bad poetry and very bad societies, or at least uh, societies perhaps not worth living in. So um, I wanted to respond to that invitation or that communication, uh, whether it was intended or not. And um, I had some ideas how I wanted to do that. And I had some ideas that um, I didn't know how to respond to because I I lacked the ability to interpret some of the symbolism in the the image. Um, In the picture, Nickel is holding a what looks like an empty coffee mug. There may be coffee in it, but it looks empty. 
So I, I didn't know what to do with an empty coffee mug. So uh, I'll just start out with admitting that I didn't know what to do and I'll do this.